So it's called the Ossuary or Ossuary. Click to play. Is this a horror game? Uh. It's shown, it says it's a horror game, but to be honest, there's nothing like in here that's like horrifying. It's more of a strange game. Oh. Oh, sir, I see how it's spelled at the bottom. So, I can move him with, why is it lagging? Because you're strange. Oh. Well, I can move them around with the arrow keys. I think it's space. No X. Okay. Yeah, they look kind of spooky, but it's really just a dialogue character. So, uh, okay. This dude is like paranoid. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to go outside. And he suggests that you don't go outside because they, whoever they is, will come and get you and and kill you or something. Um, but I was just like, you know what, we, we want to get out of here. Um, who's them? Um, I don't know what they are. They don't seem like normal people, but they told me to stay in here. It's safe in here. Please don't ask me to call for them. But you know what? Call them. I dare you. I, I dare you to call them. Hey, guard, there's someone in here. Open the gate. Can you hear the, the noise? Okay. Maybe it's best that you don't. The noise is creepy. But, like, it's nothing. Uh, you seem more able to revive your conceptual window than the other one. Still, you should not be here. Speak with the tilt sensor. The sensor will be able to sense what has occurred. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, it, the, <laughs> the entity beside the door there. So... You talk to this person. How odd you are. <laughs> they look like a person from, uh, Steven Universe or something, don't it? They don't exist, but that doesn't mean they can't affect you. Speak with the initiator and the resultant on the other side of this space. Discover your backstory and destiny and come back to me. Uh, I think if I read it out loud, it's still going to be confusing. Ah, there's something to respond to. Yes, your destination. Your destiny. The place of bones. The ossuary. This is what you should have done. Arrive in the ossuary, but something went terribly awry. Tell the sensor. Tell it you must arrive in the ossuary. The sensor has caused you to speak with me. Let's see. Your initiating event. Why you asked a question, didn't you? <sighs> I don't know. But... I'm basically going like, what am I doing here? And they're just like, you're doing this and this and this. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Um, and then they're like, oh, well, you talked to those two people and you discovered your backstory. Well, now you can go on. So now I'm out of here. What are these torches? We'll find out later. Actually, we should go over here. Just because I know how to solve some of these things. You talk to this person. He tells you that it's a library, but these people need to, like, sing a certain tone or something for whatever reason. And he's all like, here's my tuning fork. It goes ding ding. You leave him with the tuning fork for, for now. I am quite knowledgeable, you know. At the moment, I prepared a transfinity passage from the Book of the Everword. A most... You got to make them do different things. Oh, triangle guy there wants you to do. Twixt and the six thistle sticks. My electrocution is laudable. And he's reading the book. So, and he's like, I got a tuning fork here. It goes ding, I suppose, but it's probably not very good. I can't use it at all if there's yelling going on. I also have a copy of the book of the Everword, I suppose. Well, you make him read. Because he has that tuning fork, but he can't do things without it if someone's yelling. Well, one of these people have to yell, so we can't have that. And this person could yell or play the tuning fork. Well, he doesn't mind playing the tuning fork when someone's yelling, so...
make this person yell. Switch to yelling with excelling excess and exuberance. <laughs> it thrusts its fist against the post and still insists it sees the ghosts. I am quite knowledgeable, you know. At the moment, I prepared shattering sequence for the frozen explosion of the Doom Seed. I believe everyone's doing something different. Ah, very nice. Looks like everyone's ready. Now a five and a two and a three. You have engendered the element of boom. <laughs> quite well done. A mighty boom indeed. Now to tidy things up again. Goodness me. <sighs> If you're confused, that's okay. If you're not, you're probably smarter than me. Ah, poor mortal, under convenient delusions, there is no limit to your existence. How must it terrify you to even think you may someday die? I bet you can't even think about it. Can you handle imagining your own end? Yes. Oh, really? I doubt it. We operators are immortal, immune to existence, ex ex existential fear. But you are a puny thing. Fine, prove it. Is it possible for you to cease to be? How's game over? I can cease. God, I wasn't ready. You can go off and say things like that without warning someone first. You have faced an awful fear. Yeah, there, there's your psychological horror right there. Don't look now, but there's a monster that lives in this burrow. I say don't look because it's an invisible monster. I haven't been brave enough to check if it's there right now. I wish someone would. Would you? You would need to go all the way to the den in the back. Well, here's the funny thing. There's nothing back here. No, like, you go through that burrow, I, and then you talk to him again. I saw you. You went to the burrow all the way to the den in the back. So brave. The invisible monster. Was it there? Did you feel its breath? <laughs> you know, I'll just mess with him and be like, yes. And you made it out intact? Amazing. I'm impressed. You have faced a horrible fear. He just tells you how to do that last puzzle. We won't worry about that right now. Look, I love to start the new show here, but the operators in the theater, well, they're they're breaking the rules and they want they want us to stop making these people break rules. Okay, so this guy is kicking the seats. That's against the rules. I would tell him to entropy. Yeah, ha ha. All these things eventually breaking down. Every system is efficient and the energy bleeds away into the ether. It's times arrow in any closed system. Entropy always increases. Okay, kicking. My kicking eternity. But, well, shucks. Ha ha. I guess to be true to my intellectual ideals... Uh, Oh my goodness, death of the universe continues, kicking is forever gone. I basically scared him into stop kicking with philosophical ideas, I guess. So you got this person, she won't stop talking. We gotta make her stop talking. And you just don't speak to her and she's just like, she gets kind of weirded out that you're just looking at her. Not saying anything. She's trying to socialize with you. And you're not. Ironically, she looks like John Arbuckle's girlfriend. <laughs> she got the hair. Why are you not going to answer me? Come on, you gotta communicate. You're forming your concepts in isolation, which limits their utility with the most solitary of cases. Or do you believe that, like your thoughts, have value behind your expression to other sapient minds? Nah. Oh come on, pal. Talk to me here. Don't listen to the projectionist. You think you can think for yourself, can't you? You know the pro projection this is full of fail, right? Nah. Right? Say something. Damn. Fine. I'm not talking to you either. Hmm. Well, and that makes her shut up. Uh, I can't remember how I did this one. I think you just talked to him. What? The projection is hating on my grails. You tell it. You tell it to take another look. All right. Any trends? The extantial sapiens manifold can tell my grails are off the chain. This guy is fucking yeah, stupid. grails. Uh, the kicking is top, the talking is top, and those grails are actually pretty sweet. It's time for the engendering of orange. The screen glows with solemn reddish yellow. You have engendered the element of orange. To know the truth about you. Oh, uh, yeah, this is what this is one of the fears. 
I know the truth about you. I know the truth, the horrible truth about you. You've gotten them all fooled, but I know what you really are. No one else knows you've kept it it's hidden so well, but maybe, just maybe I should tell them all. What do you think? Should I share your terrible secret with everyone? Uh, and I think you're supposed to say sure. Oh, really? Trying to call my bluff. Well, I'm not bluffing. Hey, everyone, this is not an operator. This is an outsider. Probably showed up in a tilt or something. Meh. They already knew? Hmm. Never mind then. You have faced a terrible fear. He's no one. There's someone that gives you something for that bar. Uh, I don't want to talk to a corporate being like you. All things are sweet. Oh, these are just hints. I am not a very good cabbage. <laughs> no, you're not. I am s not simple enough. Also, I do not smell. You know what they say. Pungency is never first. I don't know what that means. Oh, maybe I have to do this. Your your nose is bleeding. If you wish to leave, you would engender the element of sweet. Oh, yeah, this is how you get the element of sweet. This contraption that's like all square and stuff over here it basically makes a sweet actually I think we need to talk to this person I control the peace flow dispense and then this person uh, you put in kindness kindness let me know if I do anything else well you have longing to put in there and then he's all like, we got ourselves some unmixed KL. Now, here's the tricky part. I can't remember what happens next. Uh, agitator. So we need to agitate things, I guess. I Shake things up, I guess. Okay, I agitate. Looks good. Agitate away, waiting for the final ingredient. Well, because, and to figure out this hint, this guy tells you, because he says, sweet is based partly on a KL agitation that's agitated again after an extra dose of L. What should I dump? So, yeah. We put longing in there. You're catching. So after we put longing, I believe we talk to this person. You have to agitate. Oh, agitate again? Yeah. Okay, and if we screw up, we just, we just got... Looks almost done. Ready for finishing. I am the thermometer. Well... He tells you that sweet must always be heated, then cooled. So heat it up. This is fine. A hot mixture. One final step. One less chance for you to fail. Well, you talk to him again. And you cool it down. Bring it to standard. And yes, it is done. Pure, properly made sweet. Well made. There we go. I have the element of sweet. I have always loved you. Although, if you mess up, he's all like, I hate you. Oh, okay. It is sweet. Well done. Ah, impressive. Um, and don't let the spiders touch you. Imported from the O3, this final dimension chaos. Ugh, they are horrific and uh, basically they're creepy. But you know what? Look, look at this. I touched the spiders. I touched the spiders. Hi, you want to engender Perkle? Okay, sure. I, it's basically overcoming your fear, spiders. To him. Um, back? Yes, I have a way of opening door behind as you perceive the corner where the most pungent odors are kept. Oh, so I think we can go back here. Oh. See, sometimes I don't remember. The creation process, I know, it's a lot to read. <laughs> you can understand some of this better than I do. Oh, you want some? I suppose it's a waste anyway. Here, I've given you a handful. Hold tight. You can talk to him. Ah, salt for me. I will grant you access to the back. Inhale this, and you'll be able to pass through that doorway. I don't know what I'm inhaling. But, uh... There we go. You have opened this bin and a spicy overpowering smell emerges. You have engendered the element of pungent. There, there, there. The smelling. Okay. 
So here comes this little puzzle. If you haven't paid attention to the dialogue between these guys, as well as the dialogue down here, I'll just do it for you. And what it is, is Prickle is first. I forgot what Prickle looks like. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's the spider one. Yes. And then Pungent, that's um, the face here. I think it's supposed to look like a nose now that I think about it. And then Sweet. That's that weird leaf looking thing. And then it's Boom. Let's see what Boom looks like. I believe it's that cloud, yeah. It looks kind of like a cloud or something. And then Orange. That's the last one. And then there you go. There's a weird noise. And then you talk to this thing. The mask of Dika stands before you. You feel a warmth from it and the urge to place your hand on the surface. This I don't know, but probably touch? You touch the mask and afterwards you remember nothing of this place. And there you go. Reality is the original <laughs> Rorschach. That was weird. So...